this is a terrestrial ecosystem which is a land-based habitat ecosystem is made up of two components which are the biotic components that forms the living parts of the ecosystem examples are plants and animal species abiotic components are the one that also form the non-living components of the ecosystem which are the rainfall the soil the humidity the temperature the ph and other environmental factors these components affect the ecosystem negatively and positively ways now when this abiotic component becomes too high or too extreme now this farm has been affected by strong wind and heavy rainfall which has affected the crop yield and the living component of the ecosystem and this make the ecosystem not balanced when the abiotic factors becomes optimum or becomes normal plants go well and it balances the ecosystem so the difference between the biotic and the abiotic components are that one abiotic component forms the non-living part of the ecosystem whilst the biotic factors also forms the living part of the ecosystem now when all these things come together and work normally the ecosystem becomes balanced the one thing that you also have to know is that when it becomes like this crop yield reduces the living organism also affected and the soil the soil structure and the nutrients in the soil are also lost so the biotic factors and the abiotic factors must work together to promote harmony and to balance the ecosystem so the ecosystem depend on the living component and the living component of the habitat now just take a look at the farm and look at how the farm has been lost by strong wind and heavy rainfall so that is that about the biotic and the abiotic component of the ecosystem so just take a look about how the farm is going